Rồi bây giờ mình cùng chuyển qua mình làm section 3 ha Thì trước hết mình sẽ nhìn sơ tất cả các câu hỏi Thì mình nhìn thấy ở đây là từ câu 21 tới câu 23 là Note completion thì one word only, điền một từ thôi Và cái chủ đề của nó là differences between individuals in the workplace Cái sự khác biệt giữa từng cá nhân ở trong nơi làm việc ha Rồi từ câu 24 tới câu 27 sẽ là multiple choice Đấy. Rồi Tiếp theo là cuối cùng là dạng sentence completion, one word only luôn Ok Rồi bây giờ mình sẽ cô sẽ play cái audio nhé à, Ở giữa mỗi phần người ta sẽ có uh, bấm pause cho bạn Hoặc là người ta sẽ có ngưng chừa ra một cái khoảng thời gian để bạn đọc đề Section 3 You will hear a tutor talking to two business students called Philip and Janice About their research on managing individuals First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 23. Now listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 23. Well, you've both been looking at different styles of managing individuals in companies and the workplace. How's the research going, Philip? Well, I've been looking at why individualism, I mean individual differences, are such an important area of management studies. When you think about any organization, be it a family business or a multinational company, they're all fundamentally a group of people working together. But it's what these individuals contribute to their places of work that makes you realize how important they are. Of course, they bring different ideas, but it's also their attitudes and their experiences of learning. Diversity is important in these areas, too. So why do people behave so differently from one another at work? There are lots of reasons, but research has shown that a lot of it comes down to personality. And the other factor is gender. It's a well-known fact that men and women do lots of things in different ways, and the workplace is no different. Did you look at the effects of this variation on companies? Yes, I did. On the positive side, exposure to such diversity helps encourage creativity, which is generally an asset to a company. But unfortunately, individual differences are also the root of conflict between staff, and they can lead to difficulties for management, which can sometimes be serious. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 24 to 30. Now listen and answer questions 24 to 30. Thanks, Philip. So now I guess the two main things to remember here are to identify individual talent and then to utilize it. So Janice, you were looking at identifying different talents in workers. Do you think this is easy for managers to do? Well, currently teamwork is in fashion in the workplace. And in my opinion, the importance of the individual is generally neglected. What managers should be targeting is those employees who can take the lead in a situation and are not afraid to accept the idea of responsibility. Mm, that's true, Janice. But unfortunately, many managers think the entire notion of encouraging individuality amongst their staff is far too hard. Yes, that may be true. 
But I think one of the most important tasks of managers is to consider the needs of the individual on one hand and group cooperation and conformity on the other. It requires creative thinking on the part of management to avoid tension. So, Janice, what kind of people do you think companies should be looking for? Well, it has to start from the very beginning, when companies are looking for new employees. When the personnel department is choosing between applicants, they need to look for someone who's broken the mould and can think for themselves. Instead, people making these decisions often use a range of psychological tests to see if a person is a problem solver or will do as they're told. I'm not convinced these qualities are actually the most important. So do you think being a good team player is overrated? No, it's not overrated. You do need to learn the rules and learn them fast. No individual can get around this if you're working in an organization. So how should managers deal with this? Rewards. When an individual demonstrates the behavior the organization expects, some kind of incentive can be given. What's important here is that this happens right at the beginning, so new recruits learn the rules of the system immediately. Also, the incentive should be something the individual actually wants. And this isn't always just money. Hmm. Come back to you, Philip. You were saying that recognition of good performers is essential. Mm. Now, what else should managers be looking for? Well, managing people means you not only have an understanding of your employees, but you also recognize the culture of the organization. In fact, for some organizations, creativity and individuality may be the last thing they want to see during working hours. Very true. Yes, but managing people isn't as easy as it looks. For example, change in the workplace can be quite tricky, especially if there's a need to increase profit. And at times like these, managers may have to give priority to profit rather than individual staff needs. Mm. Yes, and that creates difficult situations for people. Yes, but what's important is that managers are able to deal with quite high levels of personal stress. During times of change, they should be thinking not only about the strain on their staff, but take time out to think of themselves. Absolutely. So, what are the implications of that? That is the end of section three. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Okay. Rồi. À, bài của mình uh, session 3 là thế này ha. Bây giờ các bạn sẽ cô sẽ play lại cái audio này một lần nữa và sau đó cô sẽ uh, pause lại những cái chỗ nào mà nó uh, cái đáp án được đề cập. Now turn to section 4. Section 3. You will hear a tutor talking to two business students called Philip and Janice about their research on managing individuals. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 23. Now listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 23. Well, you've both been looking at different styles of managing individuals in companies and the workplace. How's the research going, Philip? Well, I've been looking at why individualism, I mean, individual differences, are such an important area of management studies. When you think about any organization, be it a family business or a multinational company, 
They're all fundamentally a group of people working together. But it's what these individuals contribute to their places of work that makes you realize how important they are. Of course, they bring different ideas, but it's also their attitudes and their experiences of learning. Diversity is important in these areas too. So why do... Uh, attitude có nghĩa là thái độ ha. Mỗi người khi mà đến với một cái 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 môi trường hay là một cái tập thể nào đó thì sẽ có những cái ý tưởng khác nhau và những cái thái độ khác nhau và cũng như là learning experiences, những cái kinh nghiệm học tập khác nhau. The people behave so differently from one another at work. There are lots of reasons, but research has shown that a lot of it comes down to personality. And the other factor is gender. It's a well-known fact that men and women do lots of things in different ways. Ah, gender. Men and women react in different ways. À, cái sự khác nhau này là do thứ nhất là do tính cách của mỗi người và thứ hai là do giới tính. And the workplace is no different. Did you look at the effects of this variation on companies? Yes, I did. On the positive side, exposure to such diversity helps encourage creativity, which is generally an asset to a company. But unfortunately, individual uh, creativity, tính sáng tạo. À, cái cái ưu điểm của cái việc là có nhiều những cái 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 loại người khác nhau trong công ty thì nó sẽ giúp cho cái thúc đẩy cái tính sáng tạo thì bởi vì mỗi người mỗi ý tưởng mỗi người mỗi cái cái kinh nghiệm khác nhau Đấy. differences are also the root of conflict between staff but it's also the root of conflict between staff nhưng mà đó cũng chính là cái nguồn mà gây ra cái xung đột giữa các nhân viên thì tại vì là mỗi người mỗi kiểu nên khác nhau nhiều quá chín người thì mười ý thì bởi vậy cho nên nó sẽ dẫn đến cái xung đột rồi ha, tiếp nào. And they can lead to difficulties for management which can sometimes be serious. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 24 to 30. Now listen and answer questions 24 to 30. Thanks, Philip. So now I guess the two main things to remember here are to identify individual talent and then to utilize it. So Janice, you were looking at identifying different talents in workers. Do you think this is easy for managers to do? Well, currently teamwork is in fashion in the workplace. And in my opinion, the importance of the individual is generally neglected. What managers should be targeting is those employees who can take the lead in a situation and are not afraid to accept the idea of responsibility. Mm, that's true, Janice, but unfortunately many managers think the end. Rồi ha, cái bạn Janice này thì bạn nghĩ là Uh, employers nên uh, tập trung vào những người nào mà who lead uh, những người nào mà có thể lãnh đạo và không có sợ cái vấn đề gọi là responsibility tức là trách nhiệm uh, những người nào mà sẽ là những cái lãnh đạo tiềm năng ấy. Higher notion of encouraging individuality amongst their staff is far too hard. Yes, that may be true. But I think one of the most important tasks of managers is to consider the needs of the individual on one hand and group cooperation and conformity on the other. It requires creative thinking on the part of management to have... Đó. Thì ở đây ha, uh, cái bạn Janice này nói rằng là cái sự khó khăn, cái task khó của những là lãnh đạo đó chính là gì đây? Uh, phải cân bằng giữa cái cái những cái lợi ích mà nó xung đột với nhau phát triển cái người này nhưng mà cái team work và cái lợi ích nhóm cũng phải đảm bảo 
avoid tension. So, Janice, what kind of people do you think companies should be looking for? Well, it has to start from the very beginning, when companies are looking for new employees. When the personnel department is choosing between applicants, they need to look for someone who's broken the mold and can think for themselves. Instead, I think I got that the personnel department should look for someone who has broken the mold and think for themselves. Broken the mold tức là phá vỡ cái khuôn khổ mold có nghĩa là cái khuôn phá vỡ cái khuôn khổ và có thể nghĩ cho bản thân họ. Đó thì đó chính là think independently tức là suy nghĩ tư duy một cách độc lập. Mình chọn câu A ha. But people making these decisions often use a range of psychological tests to see if a person is a problem solver or will do as they're told. I'm not convinced these qualities are actually the most important. So do you think being a good team player is overrated? No, it's not overrated. You do need to learn the rules and learn them fast. No individual can get around this if you're working in an organization. So how should managers deal with this? Rewards. When an individual demonstrates the behavior the organization expects, some kind of incentive can be given. What's important here is that this happens right at the beginning, so new recruits learn the rules of the system immediately. Also, the incentive should be something the individual actually wants, and this isn't always just money. Mm. Come back to you, Philip. Rồi, ok, vậy mình sẽ thấy lại đây à, Cái cô Janice này tin là các manager nên gì đây Form cái à, Cái 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 sự conformity Tức là sự mà kết hợp gắn bó với nhau Ngay từ at the beginning Từ lúc đầu luôn Thì nó đồng nghĩa với từ early on đó, Tức là khuyến khích cái sự hợp tác với nhau Ngay từ lúc ban đầu Thì nó sẽ là cô B ha Rồi bây giờ mình chuyển qua cái phần sentence completion nhé You were saying that recognition of good performers is essential. Mm. Now, what else should managers be looking for? Well, managing people means you not only have an understanding of your employees, but you also recognize the culture of the organization. In fact, for some... You also recognize the culture of the organization. Thì cái chữ organization đó chính là từ company ha. Thì ở đây mình sẽ điền từ culture và tức là văn hóa của công ty. Ở đây mình cầm cái danh từ thì nó đứng đằng sau nó là phải S rồi ha. Trước nó là phải S. Organizations, creativity and individuality may be the last thing they want to see during working hours. Very true. Yes, but managing people isn't as easy as it looks. For example, Change in the workplace can be quite tricky, especially if there's a need to increase profit. And at times like these, managers may have to give priority to profit rather than individual staff needs. Mm. Yes, and that. Cr- Rồi, cái bạn nam này nói là gì đây? Khi mà những uh, cái 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 uh, cái việc kinh doanh nó bị thay đổi, thì managers phải give priority to profit rather than individual staff needs tức là phải give priority to tức là ưu tiên cái profit của công ty hơn là cái nhu cầu hay là cái sự hài lòng của từng cái cá nhân nhân viên trong công ty đó tức là phải ưu tiên cái lợi nhuận của công ty hơn mình điền cái từ profit vào đây ha creates difficult situations for people yes but what's important is that managers are able to deal with quite high levels of personal stress during times of change They should be thinking not only about the strain on their staff, but take time out to think of themselves. Rồi, high level of stress, personal stress. Thì mình chỉ được một từ thôi cho nên mình điền từ stress vào. Thì high level nó đang đồng nghĩa với từ increased amount of. À, cái, cái mức độ ngày càng tăng. Và cái từ amount này nó sẽ là đi với danh từ không đếm được. Thì stress là danh từ không đếm được. Ok. Rồi, mình làm xong 10 câu. Ok, rồi cô bấm next Rồi ok, mình đúng cả 10 câu ha Rồi, thì bây giờ ở đây á, là cái phần session free của mình Bây giờ mình sẽ chuyển qua mình sẽ cho làm cái phần session 4 